Tennessee State University President Dr. Brian Noland took the next step this afternoon in his quest to become the next chancellor at the University of Tennessee Knoxville. As we reported one week ago today, Dr. Noland was selected as one of four finalists for the chancellor position at UT. News Channel 11's Caroline Corrigan traveled to the University of Knoxville where Dr. Noland took part rather in a public forum on campus. Well, Josh, Sarah, this public forum wrapped up a couple of hours ago here at the University of Tennessee's campus. Dr. Brian Nolan had the opportunity to share some of his goals for the university, as well as allow faculty and staff to ask some questions. ETSU President Dr. Brian Nolan switching out his navy and gold tie for an orange one Wednesday afternoon. Before you today as an individual who is being considered for the position of chancellor. For the past eight years, Dr. Nolan has served as president at ETSU, known for improving student life on campus, leading the return of the football program and construction of the new football stadium and performing arts center. Now back at his alma mater, front and center at a public forum, vying for the job as the next UT Knoxville chancellor. He started with a presentation of his goals for the university, such as making sure students are prepared for the future and succeed in their careers. One focus land grant missions. It was created to make a difference in the lives of Tennesseans. And if you just look at the region in which we're physically located, I'm not talking about the state here, I'm talking about East Tennessee. This is a region that's struggling and it's a region that really needs this institution to lead, to step forward, to make a difference. And I would be honored to be a part of that effort. Faculty and staff had the opportunity to ask questions. One professor expressed concern about the pay for adjunct professors. I have lecturers rather than adjuncts, but they're still contingent faculty and they are still criminally underpaid, which has really bad effects on their stability and therefore their students' stability. It comes just a week after an adjunct rally was held at ETSU in an effort to raise adjunct professor pay. We've had two years with our independent board. We have concurrently changed our, govern our budget process and are now moving into a venue in which colleges have the opportunity to invest their resources in adjunct pay. I'm told UT officials plan to make a selection by May. Reporting in Knoxville, Caroline Corgan, News Channel 11, in your corner. Caroline, thank you. This marks the second time Dr. Nolan's na been named a finalist for a top leadership role at the University of Tennessee at Knoxville. He was up for consideration for UT president before he came to ETSU in 2012.